In this demonstration, we look at creating and deploying a configuration baseline. Our configuration baseline is a set of settings from perhaps a gold reference device. So for example, we may be taking registry settings from the reference device. We'll then do a compliancy check against other devices on the network. If they do comply, we leave them as they are. If they do not comply, what we can then do is we can then remediate depending on the rule type. First thing we need to do is create our configuration baseline. And in order to do that, I've come into my assets and compliance workspace. I've come to my compliance settings node. I now come to my configuration baselines. Next thing we need to do is create a configuration baseline. I'm gonna call mine IT support configuration settings. Now that we've done that, what we need to do is we need to add in some configuration items. So we did create one in an earlier demonstration. So we'll go for a configuration item. But as you can see here, we could go for software updates. We could also go for additional configuration baselines. We'll go for configuration items. And what we want to do here is we just want to go for our validate remote desktop. And we'll add that in. Then what we'll do is we select OK. Now what we've got down here is we've also got assigned categories to improve searching and filtering. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just go for our categories. And what we'll do here is we'll go for our IT infrastructure. We'll select OK. And then what we'll do is we'll select OK for our configuration baseline. Once we've created this baseline, we now need to deploy it. So if we just highlight the configuration baseline, click on the deploy button. This brings us into a wizard. We need to specify the collection that we want to apply this against. So what we'll do here is we'll click our browse button. And what we want to do here is we want to do this against devices. It is a registry setting. And then what we're looking for here is we want to apply this to all Windows 10 workstations. Once we've done that, we'll select OK. Right, so as you can see here, I can remediate non-compliant rules when supported. I can also generate an alert, and I can also specify as well the schedule that will run this compliance baseline. Just purely for purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to bother modifying any of the default settings. So at this point here, we'll select OK. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating a configuration baseline. Thank you.